Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Keenan Weller and Julie Kingstone. Come on up here. Oh, I think I just stole Daniel's fire. I didn't read the bracket. <laughs> I think this is for a toast. I'm good. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Who's first? You are. Well, it's enough of the Julian Keenan show. I hope that the next 20 years, when we come together, we will not be about Julian Keenan. All right. So we want to ask all of our wonderful Live Workplace staff to come up to the front. And there's more than 12 now. Come on up. see a lot of familiar faces up here and we have a few new faces so we're going to start with the newest faces and thank you and introduce you and thank you so much for joining the live work play team so we have David Tushingham and Kelsey McDaniel give the crowd a wave they're here they're joining us here this summer as uh, summer students to help out with our employment uh, summer employment program for youth getting summer jobs as job coaches uh, David is returning from last summer, and he uh, is a student at Carleton University, hoping to become a police officer when he graduates. And also new to the team, Kelsey McDaniel, and she will be assisting us with employment, and she is uh, a referral from a fantastic partner in Ottawa from Woodruff High School, Jamie uh, Hewson. Welcome, Kelsey and David. <laughs> no problem. Our two other newest full-time staff members in the employment team are Jacob Pollock and J Tim. Where's Tim? Wait. Tim Rupton. <laughs> we're, oh. we're sorry. <laughs> so we weren't supposed to talk about Julian Keenan, but what just happened was a perfect example of her partnership. I made her swear we will not change anything about the agenda and she said, we don't have enough flowers, can you try and get some out of this bouquet? <laughs> and thus, we have these. <laughs> However, without trying new things, nothing happens, so it all works out. But there's more. <laughs> Someone like to hold those. <laughs> That's right, all right, Jacob. I know we, we just introduced you and we gave you some flowers. You don't need to do anything, but we just wanted to let people know you got involved with Live, Work, Play as a volunteer first, and you were such a great volunteer and obviously found a lot of passion and took the plunge to join us on our employment supports team. Right Where are you? There you are, Jacob. And Tim, Tim. Tim was working at the Ottawa Sports and Entertainment Group last year where he met Fred. Where's Fred? Fred Dixon, there he is over there. Fred was hired on as a ticket taker for Ottawa Red Blacks and Ottawa Fury Games and Ottawa 67s. And Tim was working for OSEG, um, leading up the teams on event days. And uh, Paul, where's Paul? Paul, who was on our employment team, met Tim at Lansdowne Park doing some job coaching. And when we had an opportunity for a job coach and a job developer, he thought Tim would make a great addition to the team. So welcome, Tim. All right, I get to talk about the two to five years of service group. Alex Darling, 
is heading towards three exciting years as our people connector. She's on her way to Sudbury right now to take part in a wedding, but we thank her very much for the great work she has done in advancing our recruitment and support for volunteers, Friday night meetups, and one-to-one -one matching. Caitlin Forche, thank you, Phil. <laughs> Caitlin Forche and George Cronitis are the younger generation of community connectors. Caitlin is heading into year three, and George is on the cusp of year four. Yes. They hold an incredible breadth and depth of knowledge about each of our members and their families, and are skilled and talented at finding the right fit for those they support, no matter how strange the path or how long the journey. <laughs> Paula Duke has, through no choice of his own, <laughs> been vaulted into a leadership position on the employment supports team after coming to us about two years ago. He came to work for the summer and was simply not allowed to leave. <laughs> he is a terrific mentor to incoming staff and always calm in a crisis on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to all our wonderful two to five years of service team members. I really have no idea what my wife is doing. I think I'll read her part while she's doing that. She was, she was going to talk about the five to ten year category, so I'm going to get to do that, which is, a, I'm very excited. Anthony Stratton came out of Loyalist College SSW program with a wild idea. He might like to be involved with supporting people to have a good life in the community. More than six years later, he is a devoted and dedicated member of the Living Supports team. Although professional boundaries exist, the reality is Anthony is seen by many of the people he supports and by their parents and siblings as an extended member of their family. Grace Hudson, Jen Bosworth, and Allison Moores. Known collectively as the senior staff, in addition to a position of respect, it brings with it the pleasure of dealing with complaints, as well as any loose ends left behind when Julie and I are away from the office. Allison, Jen, and Grace are a sounding board, a sort of collective Obi-Wan Kenobi <laughs> of the Live Work Play ship. They help steer us from the dark side and make sure that the force is with us. Each are leaders in their respective fields, Every welcoming of a new member by Allison is a beautiful combination of art and science. Every new job lead developed by Jen is built on a passion for the opportunity to change a life. Grace, back to Star Wars, <laughs> will go where no staff member has gone before. <laughs> because life is not a program and she's got the stories to prove it. I continue? I'm to continue. There is one name missing from the more than 10 years of service category. Do not be fooled by his youthful appearance, <laughs> his fancy getup, because other than Julie and I, Daniel is the longest serving Live Work Play staff member. Including, if we include all of his roles, such as volunteer, summer staff, and permanent staff, it amounts to 15 years of service. Like Anthony, his schedule as a living supports provider does not allow him much time in the office. That does not mean his presence is not, it does, Wait a minute. That does not mean his presence is without gravitas. If Grace, Jen, and Allison are Obi-Wan Kenobi, then perhaps Daniel is Yoda. Daniel, we say this not only because you often speak in parables, but because if something doesn't feel right to Daniel, chances are there's something that needs fixing. Daniel does not need to assert his value to the organization. He gets respect the old-fashioned way. He's earned it. Please, everyone, join us in a toast. 
Here we go. It's you and I. You're supposed to get up here with me. Remember the agenda. Remembering the agenda. <laughs> Dear team, yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. As for the present, being here with you today is the best gift of all. To the staff.